The big story at four high school football rivalry sparked as a new season begins with graffiti at Baker High School. The Hornets will take on the Theodore Bobcats tonight as WKRG News 5's Asher Red shows you Vandals used red paint to send a message to Baker's team. As I'm there, I happen to see the toilet paper in the trees. But what school board member Johnny Hatcher was about to see was far more severe. When I get there, I talk to one of the assistant principals and he says, well, that ain't all that happened. Red paint spelling the word Theodore on a sidewalk and quote F Baker on a door. Theodore High School was set to host Baker in the first week of high school football just hours later. It's at the main entrance. If you're walking up the main entrance, you can look over and you can see it. Football rivalry is practically unavoidable when the season starts, but Hatcher says you have to draw the line somewhere. I don't want anybody at our schools doing that to another school, period. Hatcher is a graduate of Theodore High School, and he says the vandalism happened in the overnight hours the night before the game. If those were students from Theodore that perpetrated this act, it, it's going to really bother me. And to whoever did this, whether it be an adult or a student at Theodore High School, Hatcher says there will be serious consequences. If they're students and they're involved in sports, uh, they're going to have some serious issues. Uh, either way, whether they're a student or not, they're going to have issues with the law. If Theodore students are the ones caught red-handed, Hatcher has faith in Principal Timothy Hardegree to hold them accountable. He's, he's fair, but he's, he's tough. He is going to take a heavy hand with, with this situation. If it's our students, he is going to take a heavy hand. Hatcher says the Mobile County Public School System is investigating. So far, no one has been caught, but Hatcher says that won't last long as there are plenty of cameras on Baker's campus. In Mobile, I'm Asher Red, WKRG News 5.